Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Now let us see the importance of main function. That means we have we are writing the main function as public static void main string arguments. So let us see one by one what is the importance of all those things. Right. So we know that in Java programming or any programming language, the execution will start from the main function and everything we have to write it in the main function. So whatever the classes we are creating and whatever the objects we are creating, everything for everything the reference should be in this main function. We have to write the reference in this main function. So unless you write the reference in this main function, the particular class or object will not be executed. So if you observe in the previous sessions, we are writing one class and we are creating that objects in this main function so that we can access the variables and methods of that particular class by using that object which is created in main function. So for that, the main function, we are writing public static void main. Right? So everything will be, for everything there will be an importance. So this is not a syntax. We should not call it as a syntax. right? So the, that's the only syntax I will, I will tell you. So public, we know this is the access modifier. Access modifier. So there are different access modifiers available in Java. That means access permissions given. So that is public, private, protect and default. So if any method or a class is a public, that method can be accessed in any class in the package. Right? So all the public methods or the, all the public classes can be accessed through the program. So the scope is the, to the entire program. So here I am using the public for the main function because any class reference must be written in main function. So from the main function we can, we can uh, invoke any object or any method or any variables of different classes. So that's why we are using here a public and coming to the static so in just before uh, previous sessions uh, we I have explained uh, regarding the static variable static methods and the static block so once go through that the, so that uh, the you know the importance of a static so uh, normally a class consists of variables and a methods in order to uh, access the methods or a variables Compulsory, we have to create an object for that particular class and through the object only we have to access the variables and methods. So those are called instance variables and instance methods. Coming to the static variables, so a variable can be declared as a static by using the static keyword. So such type of variables we can access directly. Similarly, the static methods also can be executed directly without creation of object without creation of any object we can access the methods static methods directly or by using the class name so here main is also one type of method main is also one type of method so in order to access this method and where we are writing this main function we are writing this main function in one class in one class we are writing the main function right so in order to access this method so main is a method so in order to access this method compulsory we have to create an object and through that object we have to access the main function right so if you declared this main method as a static we need not create an object for accessing this main function. We can directly access this main function. So for that purpose, we are creating this static keyword by using, uh, we are using this static keyword. So direct access without object, 
right next void so for every method there must be a return type so that's the rule we have discussed in the previous sessions right so if you are unable to write this return type it will be treated as a constructor so here main function is also a method so it should also have a return type so that need not be a void it can be int so depends upon the logic depends upon your program you can change this void into int right so this is the return type and this is the main name of the main function name of function and what is the importance of this string args so java programming supports the command line arguments so in the command line arguments also we can give the inputs so that already we have seen in the previous sessions right so in order to take the inputs from the command prompt we are using this syntax string args so this is for command line arguments right so our compiler will search the syntax for this one main string args so this is the only syntax given by the compiler and this we have to write it okay so if you are failed to write this string args it will return i mean uh, it, it doesn't return any error while compilation but it doesn't execute okay so this is the syntax which is to be compared and this we have to write the public static void main so this is the actual importance of this statement so for accessing the main function for all the classes we have to include this public and without any object we have to access the main method so we are writing static and every function should have a return type that's why we are using this return type right so hope you understood this simple thing if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much